Channel Y. Channel Y. A South Asian Canadian channel. Hi, this is Priyanka Chopra, and you are watching Channel Y. The biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. Y Media. Y Media. Y Media has newspaper, midweek, radio. South Asian Pulse. Hi, I'm Amitabh Bachchan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Hi, this is Amir Khan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Ab har din sunen GTA ka number one radio station FM ninety one point nine. The pehar baran se sham chhe baje tar. Television. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. You are. Prime Minister, welcome. It's a pleasure to be back. Online South Asian Daily dot com. The biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. This part of the program is brought to you by Midweek Newspaper, published every Tuesday. Welcome to Channel Y. I'm your host Vidhi Jaswal, and today we have two very special guests. We will be discussing real estate, and at this point, I'd like to welcome Hunter. How are you? Very good. You're nice to see you again. Hello. How are you? Thanks for having us. Like. Likewise, likewise, and uh, just for our viewers' benefit, I'd like to tell you that Hunter Milbourne, he's the CEO of uh, Milbourne Group, and we also have uh, Mariana. She is the Chief Operating uh, Officer of uh, Milbourne Group. Welcome, Mariana, and welcome, uh, Hunter, once again. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Hunter. Why don't I start with you? Uh, you know, the, uh, the real estate. Everybody wants to know these days that uh, I know during the COVID times, we've regularly seen the numbers uh, by Kriya and. Uh, by Toronto Real Estate uh, Board as well, but uh, people call you the condo king. So why not ask from you? How do you see uh, the real estate market? Uh, it has grown very well in 2020, but in 2021 and the coming years. Listen, I think that um, you know the the pandemic, you know, in all its uh, problems, uh, it focused people, like it or not, on home, and you know people stayed home. They didn't travel. They didn't spend money on. Travel or restaurants or shopping as much, and I think that uh, what happened was that there was this incredible focus on one's residence, and you know, should it be bigger? Should it be smaller? Should it be a little further from downtown? Should it be closer? Uh, so I think that focus on home has really, um, you know, kept us in a bit of a bubble. And uh, with these historically low interest rates, I think what it's done is is really created a very, very, very strong real estate market. Mariana, I'll come to you. Why don't you explain us something? I, I I like the background, you know, the Melbourne Group, uh, and I've been listening from Hunter previously. But uh, Mariana, let's uh, listen it from you. Tell us something about the Melbourne uh, Group, please. So Melbourne Group has been um, founded by Hunter Melbourne almost forty six years ago, and he is really considered a, a legend and someone who had a vision uh, in the multi residential uh, buildings and really living in it up in the sky. Um, Melbourne Group specialized in uh, uh, marketing and the sales of the pre construction condominiums. And over the last uh, few decades, uh, Melbourne Group sold almost uh, eight, $40 billion in a, in a real estate and uh, close to uh, 800 projects. And uh, Hunter, I'll come back to you uh, again. You know, how do you see uh, the condo market in uh, GTA? We know the the market in GTA. I mean, in the first quarter last year, obviously it uh, slowed right down, and then uh, by June last year, uh, we started to see some project launches. And this year, the first quarter has started off with a bang. And again, I, like I said, I think that the resale market is very strong, and particularly the pre-construction market that we're focusing in uh, is exceptionally strong. So I think that because of low interest rates and because of that focus that people have on their home and their residence, this is one of the reasons why we are seeing such a strong market. As Hunter mentioned, uh, there is a... a there is a lot of disposable income that people accumulated over the last year for obvious reasons. They, we didn't travel, we didn't spend, we didn't go to the restaurant. So, and because we spent so much time in our dwellings, you know, we had time to, to kind of reevaluate how we see our living circumstances, how we see our home. And a lot of people are either redecorating or willing to, to move and they, they looking for a, for a more spacious homes. We see a lot of uh, 
demand in a, in a 905 area, in the outskirts that we previously haven't seen. A lot of people were more focused on a, on a 416 and a downtown core. And in the last, um, in the last year, since the, since the beginning, beginning of the pandemic, we've seen um, a 905 actually outselling the, the 416 area. So we truly believe that this trend is here to, to stay. Um, eventually, the focus will shift to the to the four one six. But in the meantime, it is more about getting the more spacious homes. Either it's a detached home or semi detached or a, or a condominium. Yeah, um, uh, Mariana, I couldn't agree more on that at this point. You know, reports after reports, we've been uh, seeing you know one hundred and seventy billion dollar, one hundred eighty billion dollar. Then we have uh, you know two hundred uh, billion dollar. Uh, uh, sitting in uh, cash with people and they've accumulated this cash over a period of time and as uh, your Mariana you're right as even Hunter was explaining earlier that yes people have uh, accumulated some money and uh, what better way uh, to invest it in real estate. Hunter I'll come back to you once again you know Durham region this has been uh, there's been a lot of discussion about this area so why don't we hear it from you mm -hmm. you're once again the expert uh, tell us something about this region Durham region. Well Durham region is uh, you know one of the most prosperous areas of the whole country right now with a with an average household income of uh, approximately $107,000 and a population of over 700,000 people and 230,000 households. And if you look at the history, those uh, number of households and populations have just about doubled every 20 years. And the income, average income per household has been doubling about every 15 years. So it's obviously a very prosperous area uh, compared to most of the other regions in Canada. We also always see the interest we also always see in the interest mode mostly in a in a western parts of the Ontario and of the GTA. But now what we see the prices in the Mississauga, in Burlington, in the Oakville area are definitely pushing and they are in Mississauga over four digits, over thousand dollars per square foot. So we seen the focus being shifted more in a in the east end and uh, something like Whitby and the landing that has a waterfront has a definitely a long runaway for a for a future for a future appreciation people tend to gravitate towards the properties that are that have the proximity to to a water to waterfront it is not just the it's not just the the living it's not just that home it's also the the amenities it's the nature it's the accessibility to the natural resources and the water always has been something that people people tend to gravitate towards to uh, I think that, that that was my uh, next question and you stole my thunder. I think, Mariana, you made a very excellent point that yes, now there is certainly room for growth uh, if we uh, look towards the east end. And, and you were just explaining about the uh, project, Mariana, if you could explain in detail uh, the landing that the project that uh, you're bringing, uh, bringing up in Whitby, please. So landing is the newest condominium um development that is being brought to the town of Whitby by Cartera. It is a 348 units uh, divided between the six buildings. Um, the tallest building is 18 story building. This building will have all the amenities, the concierge, the mailboxes and everything in it. And then the rest of the buildings, the other five buildings are the five story buildings. Um, the units in these buildings, it they a little bit more boutique. So you're looking at the um, from 26 units all the way to the to the 50 units in each of these buildings and they five stories um they have beautiful penthouses with the with the very spacious and the grand terraces the ceiling heights is between the nine feet and then the penthouses they have a 10 feet ceilings um the suite types they anywhere between the one bedroom to a three bedroom plus ten and the sizes range between approximately 500 square feet to a little bit over 1200 square feet in terms of the amenities, there is going to be a great offering of the outdoor and the indoor um, entertainment area, party room and a lounge. Also the fitness and a, and a yoga studio, as all the people in these days are very fit and they're looking after the, uh, the, their well-being. Uh, there's going to be a dog walking station, which will be, you know, welcomed by the, by the people who will live in this neighborhood and probably they're going to have some kind of pet, you know, just to walk uh, around the, the lake. And then there's going to be a bike station and then also the one valet, which Hunter can talk about a little bit more. 
Yeah, hundred. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, well, I think that One Valet is a uh, Canadian tech company that's a relatively new uh, tech startup, and it's basically a a very high tech solution for operating a building with uh, with in addition to a real concierge, a virtual concierge, keyless entry. Uh, you know, monitoring water. A lot, a lot of times problems in buildings occur if there's a water leak. So there's many, many uh, details and services that this one valet can provide. Um, I think the other thing to point out that's really quite relevant uh, that we really don't experience too much uh, in, a, in a new community like this. I mean, often there's two buildings or three buildings and they're, and they're towers. But these five low-rise buildings, if you think about it, what it does is it creates an extraordinarily large number of penthouses because each of those five buildings has five. So there's, there's 25 penthouses just in those five buildings with big terraces. There's also uh, an extraordinary number of suites on the corner. So you have a lot more glazing and a lot more windows on those corner suites. And on the ground floor, out of the total of 348 suites, there's approximately 80 two-story townhomes at the ground level, which are very affordable and very popular uh, in, in people's minds these days. And I think one of the biggest benefits of the location is that it's uh, just over a three minute walk to the Whitby GO station. And anything that's been transit focused in these days has been very, very successful. And uh, it was pointed out to me that if you compare other suburban destinations like Brampton, Burlington, Markham, Newmarket, Barrie, that the distance between the Whitby GO station and Union Station is 10 to 20 minutes faster than any of those other locations. That 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 sounds like a plan. That sounds uh, amazing. Uh, Brianna, I'll uh, come back to you. Uh, you know, you both of you explained the amenities and so many other things uh, uh, quite nicely. But uh, uh, can you explain us, since you're already mentioning it's, it's not just wall running, it's, it's a whole area that you're uh, developing. So uh, is there any timeline that we could give it to it that uh, when, when all this happened? So we are going in the sales. We actually are entertaining the brokers' presentations as we speak in the in these days, and then the sales is ready to start in the next couple of weeks. So is is any any of the viewers of this program that are interested? You know, like I'm pretty sure you're gonna sell share some kind of contact for us, and we would love to have them in a sales office. There's a beautiful presentation center with the with the fabulous scale model, the uh, the model suite, and uh, the samples of the the color palettes for our future finishes. So uh, we are obviously under the current current circumstances, we are operating with the with the safety uh, in mind, and we are taking groups by the appointment only, and we would be more than more than happy to to see one of your viewers or yourself just to just to see what the what the future community has to offer. Sure, um, the, the contact details are regularly coming on the screen. Just for our viewers' benefit, I'd like to tell you that you can uh, uh, regularly get in touch with the Melbourne Group. The contact details are here for you on the screen, and definitely, Mariana, as you mentioned, uh, I will be visiting the site, the area personally, and uh, we'll be more than uh, happy to lo uh, look at the model homes and we'll discuss uh, a lot more and more. Andrew, coming uh, back on to you, uh, mm -hmm. I know this mm -hmm. sounds like a great project, but uh, there are so many other projects. So, and you highlighted quite uh, quite a few things, but how do you differentiate? Uh, Mariana was earlier saying, I, I, I really like that point. And as much as we talk about Mississauga, Brampton, Oakville, but yes, this is one area where you can invest, we can still make some good money, the investment seems to be very good. But any other features that you want to highlight that really sets this project apart from others? Uh, please go. Listen, I think, I think it's a number of things, really. I think that, um, you know, the community, because it's the six different buildings, it's a very large site. And the decision was made by Cartera, the developer, that they have confidence in the ability to sell so that it won't be phased. They're going to basically build it all at the same time. So it won't be a case of somebody moving into a building and then construction going on for a bunch of years. You know, it's, it's going to be pretty much finished all within a period of probably three to six months. And, um, you know, when people look for a home, they look for, they look for location, view, and brand. I mean, those are usually the three most important things. So because it's got a location on the waterfront near a marina with 420 slips, 
uh, most of the suites are going to have very good views of the lake or back in towards the, uh, the town. Um, and because it's close to transit, that location becomes very important. As I mentioned, just a very short walk to the Whitby GO station and uh, all the urban sophistication of a small town, but um, you know the, the, ch the charm of a small town um, as well as uh, that urban sophistication. There's a new library, many cultural amenities. But I, I think the big factor is also, as I mentioned before, the product, because you have an extraordinary number of townhouse units, corner suites, and penthouses, which usually uh, have a large price premium. Here, they're very similarly priced to the other ones just because there's so many. And you have the beautiful architecture by the, by the IBI. Uh, the figure three is in charge of the interior design. So it's very tastefully done. The, the suites are really nicely appointed with a lot of natural light. It's exactly what the people are looking for in these days. Um, if you are an end user, uh, there hasn't been a, much of the product coming in this, in this neighborhood. So it's really, it's really nice to see that you will see your, your future home to, to grow and, and being built in front of your eyes. Um, if you are an investor, you definitely understand the, the, the value of the waterfront properties and then really just comparing everything to, the, to that west end and then that, that room for a grow in the east end. Uh, those are the factors that a lot of uh, investor will take in into consideration before making a commitment and purchasing in this, in this community. So so there is really a for there is really a offering for for any kind of group. Either it's as I said, end user, someone who who lives in a neighborhood. They don't want to leave. They want to buy for their children, or they thinking that down the road, five, four, whatever years ago, they might just you know just move from their detached home, and then they just want to make that commitment to that more. Um, convenient condominium living and or as i said the investor that sees that potential for a for a for a future grow right yeah it sounds very fascinating and uh, next time uh, we're going to come to the site there and do the interview there but uh, before i let you guys go uh hunter anything else uh, that you want to add and then uh, marina you too as well yeah hunter well because we're you know very digitally sophisticated these days we're you know fully equipped for for virtual meetings or in-person meetings as, as any purchaser or agent may request. And, uh, you know, we're very happy to have Cartera as a sponsor. I mean, they're a, a very, very well capitalized, funded by Canadian pension funds. They built over 5,600 homes in the last few years. Um, they're currently developing over $4 billion of mixed use office, industrial, residential in the GTA in Montreal. Um, and they've had a good 15 year history. So they have a, we have a very strong sponsorship and we're happy with that. Right. And then you know what, we are more, yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And we are more than happy to, to, to see any of your viewers or yourself, you know, in our presentation center, show you the finishes, tell you a little bit more in details about the, what's coming in this, this, in this, uh, exciting new uh, condominium community in Whitby. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Uh, so I'd like to tell our viewers once again, you have the contact details uh, uh, highlighted on the screen. So please do contact, visit the visitation center, the presentation center. You'll have uh, the uh, team over there. Uh, Hunter, once again, thank you very much. Uh, Hunter, who's the president and CEO of Melbourne Group. We also have uh, Mariana. She's the CEO, COO of uh, uh, Melbourne Group. Thank you very much. And hopefully we will be coming to your site one, uh, next time. And of course, we'd like to uh, welcome you here in our studios back once again. Uh, thank you so Excellent. much for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks thank for you, having thank us. You, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. A South Asian Canadian channel.